Hello, my Mr. Lee fans. Welcome to the morning edition. By the time you get this, will be uploaded in the morning at 7 a.m. This is the morning after the win. Not the least day, I'm going to take you down to the press conference. So, here comes the, the press conference. It's like a press conference after the Maple Leafs win 5-2 on, on Wednesday night. What was it like playing in this uh, atmosphere tonight? Uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, you walk into the a youth rink and it just has that feel to it. It's got that similar smell and uh, a lot of fun seeing the kids out here too. What do you see on your um, It's a good play, a really good play by Nisey. He, you know, did most of the work and I just had some daylight there and um, he made the pass to me. There's an opportunity on the penalty kill this coming season with some guys having departed. What do you think you may be able to provide that unit? Um, yeah, I hope to uh, just provide my speed and um, grow my role on, on the penalty kill. Um, I've done it, uh, did in Chicago a little bit, but uh, you know it's a lot different here. So hope to uh, contribute that way. Different What's the, because of the system, or um, yeah, different system, and um, you know just um, you know deeper personnel and, and things like that. So um, you know just hope to contribute uh, what, as much as I can. What's the, the way Connor Timmins played tonight? Uh, unbelievable. Um, a lot of fun to watch. You could see he was feeling it out there uh, in the third period. Um, the goal was really nice, but uh, that assist he had was, was pretty spectacular. So uh, it's fun to see uh, one of the guys feeling it like that. What's it mean to you get a chance beside the captain and Nyes on that line to start camp? Um, really fun. I mean, those guys, uh, they're so strong on the puck. Um, Hopefully I can compliment them with my speed and because they win all their puck battles and they're so good making plays, hanging on to it. So, um, you know, a lot of fun playing with those guys. How much comfortable are you with this team now having had the off season and starting from day one? Yeah, definitely uh, more comfortable. You know, know all the guys, um, you know, know the systems, know what to expect. And I think it's a uh, helps a lot going through a full training camp here. It's, you know, it's pretty intense, but I think it, it uh, gets us in the right mindset to ready to roll. Timmons put together tonight. Unbelievable! Like you gotta save some, no? But no, he looks humble. He looks unreal. Uh, I mean, I mean, the pass that he gave me for the breakaway—that's an all-world pass. And then I mean, all the rest of the stuff was unreal too. So great game by him. Uh, and I mean, that, that builds a lot of confidence for a guy like that. So it's great to see. Did you know much about him before you got here, Connor? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not fun to play against because he's a good skater, big body, strong, um, boxes out pretty good, and you can make plays. Um, I mean, both him and. Uh, Timmy Logan, like they're underrated, right? So, um, big pieces of our squad, and looking forward to seeing them get better and better every day. They look awesome. Uh, it's easy with the uh, with the way he passes the puck, but what did you appreciate about that pass he used to spring you? Um, I mean, anytime you get a penalty, you, you, you're you're hoping you get a breakaway when you get out, right? But uh, um, it was an unbelievable pass. I mean, he saucer it right over the guy's stick. So, um, yeah, didn't want to make him, didn't want to waste it for him. I know it's only exhibition, but how cool is it with your London ties to be here? Yeah. You score a goal with the with the Leafs, your your first one, and you could tell the fans were, you yeah. know, a little extra <laughs> pumped for that. I think the whole day was just awesome. I mean, you, you saw how happy everyone was to, to see all the boys, and the whole town was out this morning for our morning skate, and uh, I mean. A town that loves hockey as much as these guys do here, like, they deserve stuff like this. So um, I think it was awesome, and it was nice to get the win for them. Um, makes it even better, and uh, everyone that set up the event, they did a great job. So it was a really successful day uh, with Craft Hockeyville, and um, had a great time. So awesome day. What sort of impression has Minton made on you? Yeah, he was he was great out there. Um, I mean, uh, there, was, uh, there was a couple plays defensively that he. he I mean, Turns pucks over and goes the other way. He's smart. Found the soft area in the slot. He's a, he's a good player. So, what did you like the most about your performance tonight? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, honestly, I think uh, just played tight defensively and moved pucks quick. And I think the the offense came after I got pucks up to our forwards. But um, I think I just kept it simple for the most part. What's it do for you to have a performance like this at the start of camp? Yeah, obviously it'll it'll give me some confidence going forward, but. Um, 
I mean, the points aren't really something I'm focused on. I think there's other aspects of my game I'm kind of leaning into and camp a little more, and um, I just want to focus on those things. Yeah, like I said, just uh, tight defensive gaps, winning my battles in the corners, um, making the right plays on breakouts, things like that. What was the message from management to you going into this camp? Um, I mean, I didn't have a ton of communication with management. I think it was just play my game and, and work on the things I can improve on. I think it's just the same mindset I've always had. We're on the same page with that and just wanted to get better every day. We uh, appreciated your uh, your pass to Springham. What did you see uh, as that played out? Um, yeah, I just kind of heard the goalies tapping his stick, so I, I knew he was probably coming out of the box and just caught a glimpse. I thought it was either him or the ref out there, so I, either way, it's going to get down the ice. You, uh, the numbers suggest you put on some pounds coming into this camp. Was that an emphasis for you in the offseason at all? Not really. I think it was more so a matter of gaining strength, and obviously when you do that, you're going to gain a little weight. Um, but I, I feel strong. I feel good. I spent the whole summer in Toronto, and um, I'm really happy with how the summer went. How did that help you? Yeah, I think just having the uh, eye on me the whole summer. I think uh, we have top-notch strength coaches, um, nutritionists, physicians, so I think being able to work with them every day in the summer was uh, huge for me, and I think I really just stayed on a good path and put in a lot of work. Yeah, it was really cool. It reminded me of my junior days. Um, I played a year in junior B when I was 16 years old, and it was, it was kind of similar to this, so um, a lot of kids tonight, they were really loud. It was, it was great. Sheldon, what did you appreciate about Timmins' game tonight? Well, I think it was a four points, something like that. Um, he, he creates offense. It was the game in Ottawa the other night, too. I think he ended up with one assist in the game and, and makes a great play to set up that goal. But also going back to the scoring chances, I, was, I left I left watching the video back saying, you know, Timmins could have had three or four points here tonight if some guys finished their chances and were, you know, on, the, on the other end of some of his plays. So he finds a way to, to score and or set up offense and, and, and create and we saw that last season from him as, as well when he played for us so not a big surprise that way um, but but he and the defense today I mean we go down to 5d for most of the game here tonight pretty much all of the game and more minutes for guys less time to think and just go out and just play and uh, I thought he did a good job tonight I thought all the D did a good job tonight what does Timmons need to do to be an everyday NHLer? Just yeah, like most guys that have ability like he does, uh, it's a matter of consistency. Uh, in his case, of course, it's not necessarily consistently on offense because, as I said, he's, he's found ways to score and produce. He produced at a high rate for us last year, and uh, all of that. But you know, there's more to playing the position, right? It's consistently being reliable to break the puck out, reliable to defend. Um, reliable to play against good players at times, not have to be sheltered. Like all those kind of things are important to take a step. And he's worked really hard, you know, to, to give himself a chance to compete here in camp and, and it's good to see him get rewarded on a night on a night like tonight. Obviously it's a short body of a small body of work, but we've seen a little bit of max, a little bit of abrasiveness, a little bit of finish tonight. Um, just your impressions through the first two weeks of camp. Regarding Max specifically? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think he's been great. I think he's, uh, he's played a long time in the league here now, right? So yeah, you have a good sense of what to expect from him, but it's just good that he just looks comfortable and confident and uh, he's having fun, but he's, he's also working. Uh, you know, I've been very clear with Max about what my expectations are from him, and uh, I think he's done a good job here in the first two games to work towards that. Uh, but, you know, like, like most experienced players in the league, you know, it's... Uh, they're using these games to just kind of get their timing, you know, get some of the summer habits out. Uh, I think as, as we shift in to this weekend and then certainly into next week, you know, that's when we really start to focus on a lot more of the detail of it. But uh, I like his game. You know, it was a, great, a good goal here tonight coming out of the box. But uh, he's using his speed. He's on the puck. You know, he created a ton in the first game he played out in Ottawa, a ton of offense. So, yeah, I've been really encouraged. What happened to Klingberg in the game today? Uh, you said some tighten up on him that uh, it's, it's going to have to be evaluated before we know. So it was precautionary we took him out, but we won't know the, the extent of it until we can get him evaluated tomorrow. You highlighted the, the potential on the penalty kill this season for, for people to earn spots. What sort of potential do you see in Lafferty to maybe seize a role there? Yeah, well, huge potential. Uh, you know, he's done it before. You know, he's... He's found a way to 
produce offense on the penalty kill. Uh, last season did a great job of that. He showed that again tonight. His ability to just use his legs to get in behind you and uh, all of that. Uh, we play a pressure penalty kill, so there's great benefit to having guys who can skate the way that he does. And you know, we need guys to take a step. You know, last year he, he didn't he didn't get a great opportunity with us because just so happened that he arrived at a time. Uh, a, we we were already pretty good on the penalty kill, and, and then you know we acquired two veterans like uh, O'Reilly and Achari. So there wasn't a lot of opportunity for him last season, but there certainly is here now. And I thought he had a good game here tonight. I thought Gregor Hell saw a good game and wanted to get a look at those guys together with Holmberg. I was interested in that, so that's why we went to come away from Tavares for today just to get a get a look at that, and uh, at the same time give me a chance to get Robertson up with John, but. Uh, really liked the speed of Gregor and Lafferty together and I think whether it's five on five or penalty kill that's a great asset. How would you assess Robertson's preseason so far? I think it's been good like it's both games you know I think he's puck hasn't fallen for him but I think he's been all over it he's had some great scoring chances he looks real fast and confident with the puck um, I think some of our guys and, and I would put Nick in this category maybe looked a little tired here today you know it's the second game in three nights uh, for these guys here, and it's, you know, hasn't been hasn't been an easy count. You know, it's like it never is. So, I thought he, if, you know, later in the game started to drain a little bit, like some of our guys did. But uh, he looks fast, explosive, all the things you come to expect with me. I will see you on the 29th of September for the next Maple Leaf post game conference. Post game show. This is Johnny Rex reporting. Bye for now.